Will you lead us along eternal highway? We want to follow the ways of Jesus. We want to enter. Please do not allow the devil to deceive you that the word of God is a is, is a necessary luggage that you have to carry. Contained here are stories of people who have gotten what you are looking for. Is it prosperity? You will find it here. Is it the lifting power? The Bible here, written here was a shepherd who became a king. Written here was a prisoner who became a prime minister. How high do you want to rise that the word of God does not have something to tell you? Written here are dead people who came back to life. The Bible archives their testimonies in the book of Hebrews 11. It says, for by faith the elders obtained a good report. Then you begin to read, through faith, this happened, this one happened. It says the things that are written are for time. They are for our learning. So that we through patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope. Apostle, right now my health is failing. Go and read the book of Job. And I will show you a man health failed and it was a global news. And yet he still came back. Apostle, you don't know how much I've lost. Still read the book of Job and see a man who was the richest in the east and everything plus his children died. But I love chapter 42 and verse 10 of Job. It says, and God restored Job when he prayed for his friends that he had twice the things that he lost. Everyone who rejected him suddenly started coming. And the Bible says everyone brought him a piece of money. Apostle, people misunderstand me in my office. Go and ask Joseph and his trouble with Potiphar's wife. Good people can go to prison too, but they only go to prison to end up in the throne. The prison is where good and bad people meet together, just like the cross. But I can tell you, sincere people don't remain in the prison. The same way sincere people do not hang there and remain there. For as long as you think the Bible is such a dull book that does not have anything to tell you in our contemporary world, you have fallen into the trap of Satan. How about people who became so wealthy and forgot God and misused the money? Go to the book of Ecclesiastes and watch the repentance of a fallen man. One who had everything you can ever imagine. The preacher wrote confessing that everything my eyes desired I had. Do you know what level of loss that is? That you don't have anything your eyes saw, you carried. And instead of reading many books, there is no end and much study is a weariness to the soul. Hear the conclusion of the matter. Fear God, he says, and keep his commandments. For this is the whole duty of man. Show me the level of wisdom you have by the depth of the word that you have put in your spirit. Don't show me by your age. That's a risk. Don't show me by where you travel to or didn't travel to. That is a risk. I only call you wise to the degree to which I see the word of God resident within you. The wisdom that comes with age is profitable but very limiting in the light of current realities. The wisdom that comes through academics is very useful but you have seen experts to their knees. The things that are happening in the world today have caused people to rethink their concept of intelligence. But there is wisdom that comes from above and that comes by the word. For someone, God is telling you, don't allow the devil keep deceiving you. You may not have a job, but you have a Bible. Start there. Use the time and start there. Father, open thou my eyes that I may behold wondrous things from out of your word. And you will find where it was written concerning you. The Bible says in Luke chapter 4 that Jesus came and the scroll of Isaiah was given to him. And he found where it was written concerning him. There is something written concerning you, but you must find it. When he found it, he said, this day is this fulfilled in your eyes. Say in the name of Jesus. I obtain grace to be serious with the word. Five minutes, one verse, that may be for a baby Christian, 
but the challenges that that are looking for you they require a plethora of scriptural wisdom to deal with you cannot afford to freelance your bible study life you just pick one verse and say can you send me any verse to comfort me now you need to be serious you need to obtain grace i'm i'm i'm, I'm it's my charge with every sense of, I'm, I'm not the reading type i don't really like the bible like that let me tell you my brothers and sisters when a patient is sick and they tell him swallow this one three three hours or six six hours whether you like it or not the doctor is not there to see all your tantrums you have to make up your mind it's either i want to be well is that true he says they are life to those who find them they are not just good news they are life when the bible says something he said my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my saying it says do not let it depart from your mouth keep it in the midst of your heart then it says they are life not to everybody to those who find them and health to their flesh your security is based on your knowledge wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of your times fear and loving god today and doubting unnecessarily tomorrow is because the word is not settled in you i tell you if you make this year the year that you sit with the word some of you need to go and look for a bookstore buy a bible buy a material or whatever whether electronically or what just settle down and say father i i obtain grace spirit of the living god breathe upon my mind i'm tired of swinging like a pendulum from pillar to post Based on the things that happen around me, I contend for stability and that by the word. Jesus himself knew what to do. May you know what to do this year. Please shout amen again. Don't be the kind of person that celebrates a message on Sunday. Preach, preach, and you are not listening. By Monday, you don't even know what to do. When you stand before situations and circumstances, scriptures like arrows should come out of you. And they are like weapons. You know what to do. When someone says, over my dead body for you to rise in this office, you don't have to argue and start shouting. You know what to do. There is a mystery. You surround yourself with mysteries like chariots. You know what to do.